often, so often get asked about my most recent purchases, which are basically these five bags. Whether I still like them, whether I recommend them, how's the wear and tear, what kind of organizer I use. Hi, my name is Amy, and on this channel, we're all about making stylish and savvy decisions around luxury fashion. On today's video, I'm gonna answer all your questions about my five latest handbags. But first, I wanna thank today's video sponsor, Samorga. Samorga is the very first organizer that I ever bought bought for my luxury handbags. I think it was back in 2014. They've also kindly sent me organizers for all the bags that I'm going to talk about. Let's talk about the mini reissue 2.55. Mine is in the limited edition from the 19A collection, which is the Messier Da collection from last year. This is also the same collection where they reintroduced the reissue mini in the single flap. So as you can see, there's no double flap to contend with. They're also known for their beautiful bijou chain. Their lock in the front is a square lock, which is a lot more understated if your bag was not in graffiti. The size of this actually accommodates more than the rectangle mini, which I'm going to show you later. This leather is very sturdy. And I also like the fact that it doesn't fold on the bottom. I just prefer it that way. And plus, the more I store it, which is upright, the more it flattens the bottom. And you can train your bag to be like that too. And especially if you have a distressed version and you really don't like the look of the bottom folded, if you have an organizer inside the distressed one, it will train the bottom to become more flat rather than sink in since it already has that big crease on the bottom. Samorga is also the first felt organizer company in Korea. They established in 2010, so they've been around for a long time. I know reissues are coming back in the new Mitsie Da collection, which is 20A, so keep an eye out. But I am glad that I have mine. And if you really like it, paying a small premium for it, I think it's so worth it because I feel like this bag is really well made. Having owned this bag for a while, I really don't think that wear and tear on this bag is going to be terrible. In fact, I think it will have minimal wear and tear because of the sturdy leather. I also love the fact that you can put things behind the organizer, in front of the organizer. It kind of gives you a few more compartments for slim things. I really like the reissue because I love that the chain can double up, but I don't use it a whole lot, maybe because mine is also in this graffiti and it's a collector's piece like I said earlier. But for this one, it's also a collector's piece because it's this beautiful tweed. I don't want to damage this tweed. And also the fact that I much prefer a square over a rectangle, just the way it lays on me. And if you're short like me, I'm only 5'4". They will be quite long if you wear on one shoulder, even if you attach it in the middle, which I never do. I don't modify my bags, which is the reason why I can't really decide between the two whether I recommend one over the other. They're so different. But let's just compare these exact two models right here. And if you're after more classic, more timeless, and just more longevity in general, go with the tweed because you can never go wrong with black and white. And also, I think in general, people still prefer the CC lock, especially for these collector's pieces. I really don't want to get it dirty on the inside so that over time, if one day I want to resell it, then it will be in really, really good condition. With the recent quarantine and still the partial lockdown, it's really hard for me to wear and rotate all my bags. So I really still cannot comment on actual wear and tear and actual color transfer and whether it will snag really, really easily. But I know just from having it in front of me and just from being able to touch it and observe it and look at it, that it is a bag that I have to baby a lot more compared to my caviar ones. No question about it. Because even if you look at the bag itself brand new, you can tell that it can snag easily. And a lot of you told me so as well. A lot of you own fabric bags, a lot of you own tweed bags. I will use it, but only very carefully. And I will not take it on like, the most casual outing. It has to be somewhere like super fancy, super clean, that type of thing, you know what I mean? So I say go for it if you're ready for that, but do not buy it if you're not. Like seriously, just wait for a caviar, just wait for a leather bag, or even lambskin may be better than this. Depending on the lambskin, lambskin can still be very, very durable. This bag comes in the mini size as well as the medium, and the Chanel 19, which is so exciting. So do try to get your hands on one if you're after it. 
I do really like the fabric, don't get me wrong. And I like that I got a mini size. The Chanel 19, oh my goodness. It's still a really hot bag. I still really recommend it. Of course, I still love mine. I constantly get asked about the size of my bag and it's really easy to tell because my square here on the side is cut off kind of in the middle. So that's the smallest size for the Chanel 19. It does come in the small, medium and large and then it comes in the walk as well. I often still get asked about the size that you should go for. Honestly speaking, it really depends on your body type as well as how much weight you can accommodate. The bag itself is not overly heavy at all, but the chains and all the hardware does add to the weight. One recent update that I learned about the Chanel 19 is that the size up from this, so the medium size, now comes with a shorter chain. We're not gonna talk about all the other materials, but this bag mainly comes in either lambskin or goatskin, and mine is actually in lambskin. Now, you can't really tell from afar. However, if you do touch it in person, it will not feel the same. The goatskin will feel a little tougher. I would say that the lambskin looks a bit shinier. If you're after your first Chanel bag, I don't recommend the Chanel 19 necessarily. I would personally go for a mini, but if you already have a pretty extensive collection and you just want something more fun and different. The Chanel 19 is so modern looking but it also has some sort of vintage vibe at the same time and the leather on the Chanel 19 are really really nice. Please go ahead and go to your store and touch it and feel it for yourself because the lambskin on the Chanel 19 is really really fantastic. I don't know how they do it, I just feel like they're thicker, they're more durable and I am not scared at all to carry this bag. As you can see this bag is pretty pliable and very flexible because it is a pillow style bag. I love to carry it without an organizer but I also love carrying it with an organizer on some days and I especially like storing this bag with an organizer because the last thing I want is for a lambskin bag that is pretty flexible to kind of over time sink in and become a puddle. If you're only gonna buy one organizer for your bags, definitely, definitely get it for your Chanel 19. I really recommend it, especially if you go for the larger sizes. Not only can you access the zippered pocket, you have the space here in between the organizer and the bag, you have the big compartment in the middle. You have two small slip pockets from the organizer as well. And then you have the front of the bag. If you're enjoying this video so far, please don't forget to give me a like and also subscribe to the channel if you're new here. This bag is the absolute surprise of 2020. I had no idea that I would love this bag so much. It's very quickly become my favorite LV bag from my entire collection. Not only is it spacious, but it's also so, so comfortable. Also the fact that the virus is still around and that we're not out of the woods yet, I feel like I would rather wear a canvas bag on the daily, something that I can wipe easily. You know what I mean, right? Instead of using a nice leather bag and put sanitizers and other liquids in it, I would much rather put all those things in a canvas bag and if you do spill, well you do spill. Which is why an organizer comes in super handy because the last thing I want is my hand sanitizer all over the inside of my bag. I'm not gonna go over this bag too too much because I literally just did a very thorough review again so I'll definitely link it down below. But I did want to show you the organizers that I got for it. Very flexible. It has one slip compartment on the inside. This is the bottom, the side, and the other side. The slip pocket from this bag, I have the in-between, I have the larger compartment, I have the other slip compartment from the organizer, and then I have the space in-between. It makes it more structured because one of the problems of the larger pouch is that when you do wear the whole thing together, the larger bag will kind of curve a little bit. Not only do I recommend this bag, but I also recommend the organizer for this bag. I never realized that I needed an organizer for this bag, but especially now with all the liquids that I'm gonna use. Last but not least is the famous bucket bag that I get asked about a whole lot. And unfortunately, this style is also from 2019, from the fall winter collection, from 19B to be specific. And it is still kind of available if you try to track it down via a personal shopper, but it's getting harder by the day. Now, do I recommend it? Absolutely. I think I made it pretty clear that this has become one of my top bags. When I grab a Chanel bag that I want, like a good size, not quite as small as the minis, but something that will fit a little bit more, I pretty much grab this one like 
90% of the time because not only is it caviar but it's also really easy to get in and out bucket bags are just so underrated this top handle it makes the bag and I also love the fact that it's pretty much a crossbody or a shoulder bag for this bag trust me you're really gonna want to have an organizer because the bottom is a little flimsy again I'm gonna link to the review videos that I have on this bag so you can check it out for more thorough reviews if you're after one and you don't want to pay for the premium for personal shopping just be patient and wait for another season you never know when they're gonna release another amazing bucket bag but if I have to choose one that is my current favorite that would be the LV Mitsi pochette now I want to pass the question off to you do you normally use an organizer for your bags and why do you use them let me know down below and also after seeing my unboxing of these five bags which ones of you went ahead and bought it because a lot of you told me that you got influence which sorry not sorry <laughs> but anyway I hope you enjoyed this video if you're brand new to my channel don't forget to subscribe I would love to have you back have a great day and I'll talk to you guys again very soon bye